Hi, Michaela Harris here. I want to take just a couple minutes today to show you what potential is out there for growth for your company and how you can how you can go after it and get it. Um, so first things first, I'm going to start with your website. I do like the way that it looks. It's very nice and professional. I love the layout. Um, but immediately when I go through it, I do notice there is not 1,500 words of content. So why that 1,500 words is important is because that is what Google algorithms look for when they call web pages. And within that 1,500 words, it wants to see good keywords. Those keywords are like search terms that people use like landscape or Louisville or anything of that nature, landscaper, um, just different ways that people search for the same thing. It's those keywords people are searching. That's what's going to tell Google that you're relevant and that you need to go to the top of um, Google when someone searches for you. Now, the other thing I want you to know is that images on your website also need to save as those keywords. That'll help you rank. But this is what I noticed here. You have several location pages, but for this one right here, Louisville, um, if I'm not mistaken, Jeffersonville is like right next to Louisville. So if you service this area right here, this one, I do believe 100% should have a page. Why this matters? It doesn't necessarily matter um, what the city is until you see what their search volume is. So search volume is super important. It's how many people are searching for that keyword. And when we're looking for buyer intent keywords that have a service in a city, you want to go after those cities that have a high volume of people searching for your services. Louisville is huge. So having this, having its own page and even its own Google business profile is going to help you get tons of new clients. And now I could go through the list and I could show you all the different ones that have search volume. But basically you want these service pages to act as mini home pages for those cities specifically that have a high search volume for what you do. The next thing I want you to see is I always have a few recommendations for the Google business profile and that's to add plenty of geotagged images that save as keywords. Make sure your company description utilizes as many of those 750 words as you can. Add a couple of good keywords in there as well. You want to make sure you have plenty of reviews from your customers, which I see you have 73, so it's really good. And then you also want to go get citations, which are just business listing sites like Yelp or Yellow Pages that list your name, address, and phone number. And in all of these cases, for all of these things, you want to make sure you're doing whatever your competitor is doing, but one step better. So if they have 15 citations, go get 20, go get 30. You want to outrank them. And why you want to outrank them is because as a potential customer looking for a landscape in Louisville, I'm going to see the top three in maps probably not going to click more businesses. Some people will, most won't. The first page of Google, I'm also going to see this whole first page of organics. And then I'm going to see these ads down here. Now these are paid positions. This is done by ranking. These are paid. So as a potential customer, nine out of 10 are never going to make it to the second page of Google. You want to be as close to the top as possible so that the most amount of people are going to click on your website. You want to be in both places because some people search one place and others search the other place. You want to be in their eyes as much as possible and be, abs to be the absolute easiest business for them to find. The harder they have to work for it, the less likely you are to land them. Now, the other thing I want to show you is if I take a look at your website statistics, and this is why being on the first page is important. As of right now, you're not on the first page for several major search terms for Louisville. Your UR and your DR are low. Now, if we take a look at that, it's likely due you may have some lower quality backlinks. You may not have enough backlinks. Either way, your trust and your power rating are low. And then, so there's definitely room for improvement here. Backlinks are just other websites that point back to yours. And your traffic is pretty low. Now this is just a ballpark number, but it still gives you a good idea. Also, the number of keywords you have is pretty low. So if we take a look at Taylor Landscaping, you can see they don't even have 1,500 words of content, which just tells me that it is possible to beat them um, because they're not even doing everything that they can. 
If I take a look at their statistics, you can see that their UR and their DR is also very low. That means that they don't have a very high trust or power rating, which is yet another reason why they can be beat. Now, what I do want you to see here is that, excuse me, what I do want you to see here is that they have a lot higher of a organic traffic rating. This, again, is just a ballpark number, but over 700 is quite a significant amount more than 33. Now, again, ballpark number, but important to note. The most important thing I want you to take away from this today, though, are these keywords. Now, if you take a look, if we look at any of these that are buyer intent, so service in city, 500, 200, 500, 100, 100, 200, you take all those, that's already, without me even going halfway down the list, already well over a thousand people searching for your specific services. And that is just for Louisville. And that's one that you don't currently have a page for. So there is huge potential for growth. And if your website could be rebuilt or repositioned to target specific cities, you have insane potential for a lot more growth for your company. Ultimately, bottom line, I want you to see there is potential for growth and that you have every ability to go after it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to answer any of them. Um, but ultimately, I really hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that this provided some valuable information for your company and I appreciate you taking the time to watch.